So I was just talking to someone in our network and I realized that this might be a great video to put out there, but it kind of revolves around the art of asking questions. And it was a great reminder to me uh, that asking questions is far better in getting results than spraying and praying or data dumping so many times we get excited about an opportunity like Solovey and as new people, if we haven't really been trained or taught or understand the idea of asking people questions and leading them to something, we just overload them with all kinds of facts and information. And it really is true. Telling isn't selling. And although this is really more about sharing than it is selling, let's let the six minute video do the work for us. Let's share briefly just what someone needs to know and then let's let them ask what they want to know. But if you're, for an example, uh, talking to people, whether it's you've met them out and about or they're a friend or they're a family, you know, just start with simple questions like, hey, do you have a cell phone? Yeah, great. How much do you pay for that? Fantastic. And then another great question might be, so if you were able to save money, but have just as good a service as you have now, would that interest you? I mean, these are questions that are, that are hard for people to say no to. And most people are going to go, well, yeah, tell me more. Great. Tell you what, this probably isn't the best time for us to go into a further discussion, but I'd love to get your contact information and shoot you over a six minute video that would show you a little bit about what I'm talking about. What was your name again? Okay. Jared Smith, okay, no problem. Great, what's, what's your cell phone number? Okay, what's your email address? Great, well, my name's Ryan Lelfs. Fantastic to meet you. I work with Solovey. I'm gonna send that over and then I'm gonna follow up with you in a day. Will that work? Yeah, that'd be great. Or let's say that someone's, uh, you ask them how much they pay and they start griping about it and they start saying, oh, I'm so, I'm so sick of it. Or, or maybe you ask them, hey, you know, how, how's your job going? Um, would you be interested in making extra income? But then let's say you get to like the objection part, you know, that a lot of us get, which is, well, I just got into a contract and I'm stuck. Instead of trying to talk them out of or convince them that, oh, no, 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 you're not stuck. See, if we say it, they tend to doubt it. If they say it, it's true. So when someone says that, just simply respond with, well, let me ask you a question. If I could share some information... Hold on, Atlanta. I'll be right in there, okay? Okay, just a minute, all right, baby? I'm doing a video. Thank you. Love you. So let's just say that instead you ask him another question and you would say, well, let me ask you something. If I could share with you some information or show you a way that could help you get out of that contract and ultimately still save you money, would that interest you? Well, yeah great, I see that you're at work, or hey, I know this isn't necessarily a great time for us to discuss this. Let me get your name and number, and I'll be happy to follow up with you. I'm going to send you a six-minute video, take a look at it, and I'll follow up with you in a day. And so it's, again, it's answering questions with questions, and it's finding out and discovering what it is that people don't like about their current service, how much they're spending, and then it's taking those answers and then showing them why Solovey would make sense. Showing them how even though they might be busting their contract by within four months at you know bustmycontract.com, it's going to already start paying off and they're going to be back to even and then it's going to be pure profit from there. You know, Asking people questions like, hey, how many of your friends do you think have a cell phone? Uh, they all do. How many of them do you think are paying more than $50 a month for unlimited everything on a smartphone? Well, they all are. Well, let me ask you a question. Do you think uh, you could talk to some of them and if they could cut their bill in half that they'd be interested in that? Well, yeah. Well, how would you like to make some extra income and have it come in every single month just because your friends switched? That'd be great. How do I do that? Tell you what, let me get your email address. I'll send you over this six-minute video. And then, guys... Then just accept the fact that 3 out of 10 say yes, 7 out of 10 do not. Don't worry about who says yes and who are the 3, and don't worry about the 7 who uh, aren't interested. Hey, I'll call you right back, bro. I'm doing something. I'll call you right back. So don't worry about that. Just talk to 10 people 
and let the three that end up moving forward be the three and let the seven not. And let's just embrace it and quit fighting it. You know, I mean, if you hit three out of 10 shots in the NBA on a consistent basis, uh, you're making millions of dollars a year. If you bat three out of 10 times and you get a hit in Major League Baseball and you do that consistently over a decade, you're a Hall of Famer. Guys, you don't have to bat a thousand. You're not going to bat a thousand. It's not possible to bat a thousand. Just embrace the numbers, the law of large numbers. Ask people questions. Lead them to where they can make a good informed decision and just leave the results up to three out of 10 say yes and seven out of 10 don't. Just talk to the 10 and don't worry about who says yes and who doesn't. I hope that helps. There's much to say on this. I'll give you two quick resources that if you're really hungry and you really desire to learn more about the art of asking questions and how to really communicate with people effectively that can get you these three to four out of 10 results, Jim Rohn, J-I-M-R-O-H-N. He passed away a few years ago. The best CD you could ever listen to is How to Build Your Network Marketing Business. You can probably get it for a few bucks online. Um, I've got a copy here at my house. I'm getting ready to order some more for some people. But find him on Facebook. Read everything you can get your hands on. Listen to anything you can get your hands on by Jim Rohn. The other guy is Tom Hopkins. Now, I'm not super big on certain sales techniques and phrases. And, you know, I want to sound real and authentic. But Tom Hopkins taught me the art of asking questions. Tom Hopkins. He is a fantastic person to read about, listen to, and it will definitely help you with the art of asking questions. Have a great day. See you later.